Hey YouTube, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but here's going to be a cool one that I think you'll all enjoy. So, here's a new app called, or it's actually not new, but I just downloaded it like a couple, like two weeks ago. So, whatever. It is called Mocha VNC Lite. It doesn't seem like anything interesting yet, but watch this. Let's click connect, and you see it's a black screen right now but once it loads up you will see my vista computer right there it's the same thing right here same links everything it's my computer i can you know move the screen around i can see what's going on but it's not just that i have a live feed of what's going on on my home computer from anywhere i can also control it so let's double click on google chrome google chrome ah oh, sorry and let's double click. There is small delay, but if you weren't watching your computer, you wouldn't know that there was a delay. Oh, sorry. There we go. And now on my home computer, it went to Google Chrome. It opened it, if you can see that. And now on my iPod, we have Google Chrome. And not just that, you can also open up a full keyboard. So you can type in addresses URLs you know you can type anything so if someone's using this at a, um, at your house or anywhere you could be in like across the country and you could be controlling and watching what they're doing so it's very cool and very useful in my opinion so let's just type in youtube.com I'm gonna bring this out of the picture for a second cuz it's really hard it's really annoying to type. But as you see, YouTube.com. Where is that? No, I'm sorry about the focusing, but it says YouTube. And then let's click go. And there's a small delay, but right here is YouTube. You can zoom out and then, you know. And here is my computer, YouTube. So this is a very useful um, app, very fun to use, really interesting, and definitely worth a try checking out. And uh, it is kind of hard to set up, so I might make a tutorial on that later. And now, for, for what some people have been waiting for, yes, you can play World of Warcraft on your iPod. I will show you that in a second. And I'm back. Here it is. There you go. You got World of Warcraft. And on my iPod, it'll be up in a second. As you imagine, it's extremely laggy. Like, the most you could do is, like, check your mail and stuff, but you really can't do anything. So, I mean, you can open up the keyboard and try to walk, but it's just so insanely laggy that there's, like, no point in even trying. Well, let's just watch up there. Let's click W, W, and I move. So, yeah, that's very cool. Uh, and thanks for watching. Remember to get this app. If you're having any trouble setting it up, you can recommend me to make a tutorial. And remember to subscribe. Thank you.